Bees. How are you today? Well, we've got some issues. And oh, let me turn you a little bit here. Um, we're at the shop and we've been open for about a week, I guess. And we're finding that nobody wants to come into the shop. I don't know why. It's it's almost like they think that this is like almost like a closet. So George and I are talking and we're thinking about moving the shop, but keeping this space at you know a later date. Maybe knocking out some walls and making it a big shop. Um, but we're discussing that right now. Um, today is Bailey's first day. And she's being such a good girl. Yeah, she's greeting people. And and I'm wondering, I'm hoping that maybe she will be um, a reason for people to come in. Because you can see, like, here's the door. Right? So they have a direct line of sight to Bailey. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm hoping that that will help. Um... <clears throat> I was talking to some of the vend other store owners here and they were saying that there's always been a problem with people coming from this other side around. Uh, so I have an idea. I'm going to talk to the landlord about it and see what we can come up with to try and get the flow going. But uh, yeah, so... I'm uh, I'm hopeful. People are starting to come in today a little bit, so <sighs> here's hoping. Hey, I got my mannequins. My mic's in. Oops. So don't they look good? I was so happy with them. They came yesterday. I think they look great. So this, whoops, where am I? This one and this one is for eight months to a year and this one's a year to two years so yeah i think it displays the sweaters way better than that <laughs> so yeah um oops. trying i haven't got my tripod i've got a tripod here but it's not gonna work um so i'm trying to figure out how to prop you excuse me prop you guys up um yeah, so we've got some, some things to discuss with the owner. Um, but yeah, so far, something something definitely has to change. Uh, and we'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, yeah, so we're, today is a tester day for Bailey. Uh, to see if she's going to be good. She's already met the door, the dog next door. This dog is so cute. I think I told her, told, told you guys about her. But um, the the two owners of this shop, one is an amputee, and the wife is in a wheelchair. And their dog, their little tiny dog, is also par uh, paraplegic. Um, the back legs don't work, so she drags her her legs all around the store. But she, and she's wearing a diaper. She's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. So Bailey met her this morning. Her name is Willow. Bailey met Willow this morning. Went okay. Went pretty good. Uh, there was no barking, no snarling. So that was a good thing. Um, whether or not Bailey understood that she was um, uh, disabled or not, I don't know. Maybe that helped. But... <laughs> But she's doing good. So far, so good. Uh, so yeah, she's the new shop dog now. So I got my, I got her attached to my leash, and I got my foot on the leash. <laughs> so she doesn't go bolting out. Because every once in a while, I'll see somebody walk by with their dog. So yeah, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I just wanted to stop in and say hello, hello, and uh, let you guys know that we're. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, I've only made one sale, but it was a sale, you know, so, uh, yeah. 
We'll see how it goes. I, oh, I, I put in a, another order uh, yesterday. So next week it should be here. Um, it's, you know, there's some leggings in there. Uh, there's some more women's wallets. Um, there's a few things that I'm bringing in. I can't bring in a lot right now. You know, and if we're going to be transitioning, um, then I've got to figure that all out. So <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing a big ice order. Angela and I were talking, Angela for my um, precious yarnery. Um, we were talking and until she's ready, which is probably going to be four or five months from now, um, I won't be able to get the yarn in that we talked about. So I have to pivot and I have to figure out what to do. So I'm going to um, start up my, uh, it's not called an affiliate link, it's a wholesaler link or whatever. Or not a link, um, it's to be a wholesaler for ice. Um, I used to have it when I first started my channel, like just before I first started my channel. And I'm thinking about starting that up again and then getting some of that yarn in. But yeah, I think the minimum order is $1,500. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'll keep you guys posted. Okay? Okay. Oh, hey, I put up... Um, hang on. I put up some of my mask canvases. Got one there, one there, one behind me, and then I've got an over. Well, you can't see it, but it's on the wall up there. Oh, there it is. So I did that. Uh, I put a couple purses on the wall. So yeah, it's getting there, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna go and watch some videos, <laughs> pass the time, and crochet. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Ah, so, I got a bit to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. oh, don't look at my cup. <laughs> There's a swear word on my cup. I didn't realize it. <laughs> um, okay, so we've completed the first week at the shop and I've had my first day off. It's not enough. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Um, yeah, we've, I don't know how much I told you in the last clip, but we have to move the shop now that I've got it all set up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move it to the space behind us, which is actually open. There's only two walls and then the two other walls are open. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to see how it goes. Because right now, there no nobody comes around the mo the. Uh, oh, excuse me. A lot of people don't walk around the market, so I will be smack dab in where they walk through. Um. So, the owner of the market is coming in today, and she's going to have a discussion with me about it, and hopefully this week we'll be able to get everything moved over. I'm going to have to order, excuse me, order more gates because I have a lot more gates or a lot more space that I have to gate in. Um, but yeah, uh, I found out like a lady came in and she said, she was looking at the purses and she looked at the tag. And she says, there's a disconnect here. My spirit raven doesn't kind of mix. She's telling this to her friend, and I'm overhearing this. It doesn't connect with what's being sold. You think ravens are, rawr, you know. I'm going, well, no, actually they're not, but <laughs> okay. Um, and I looked around, and I was just like, she's right you know and my sister came in and said she's right everything that I'm selling in my store is not speaking my spirit raven <clears throat> so 
somewhere along the lines, I, there's a disconnect with me. Um, I had it in my mind of what I wanted to do with my shop. And the guy that's on the other side has kind of derailed me a bit. Um, so I have to get back to me and what I want for my store. Um, so I'm going to like, cause what I wanted to do with my shop, this fellow is already doing right. So, and I have to try and figure out how to put my yarn and crochet in, in with that. So I had this idea of the one part of my shop would be my spiritual side and I would have my crystals and my jewelry and I would bring in incense and um, my pendulums and like all this stuff that means a lot to me and to have somewhere that people can come and feel safe and, uh, you know, maybe pull an oracle card for them or, you know, something like that. And then the when we expand to the other side, that will be more crochet A, right? That will be my crocheted stuff and the yarn and uh, all of that. We can't do that part of it for about four or five months, right? So we have to get through the summer uh, and figure out where we are from that point on. But for now, um, cause we haven't had a bus tour or anything come in. So we don't know the demographic. We don't know what, oh, oh, okay. We don't know who we're really serving to. So I'm kind of wavering. Like I, I'm not wavering so much now because my sister sat me down and had a chat with me and, um, I actually had to have a talk with this fellow who is also an empath and a seer and a healer and a, you know, all of that. And I told him, I said, you know, I, I don't want to overstep, but your energy is like this, you know? And I said, it's affecting me and it's affecting my shop. And, uh, I says, you know, we need to be able to work together, uh, like within the market so um you know and I, I kind of talked to him oh wow he broke down he cried so hard and I was just like I didn't mean to upset you <laughs> you know but he because I was telling him um about when my my past husband for the new people here you, you probably don't know all this but um my former husband passed away suddenly he was um an energy worker and a healer and we had a very close very strong spiritual connection and when he died that part of me died as well and i've been trying to get it back right so um I, I'm having a, a really hard time controlling um, my empathic side and what he was doing he was just all over the place he didn't know he didn't know, he doesn't know what he's putting in his shop he's just putting a bunch of stuff in his shop that you know completely clashes with what he's doing like at first he said he was gonna do crystals and he's gonna take out jewelry and he's not gonna do the jewelry anymore and then he brought in Navajo sweatshirts and he brought in like, like he's just got stuff coming in. And I says, you know, like, I don't know what to bring in now because I don't, you know, so it was probably a really good thing that it happened because now it's centered me and now I have a, f a clear focus of what I want to do. Um, I want to do something that's similar but I'm going to bring in things that are different, but in the same realm. Um, like he's got some pendulums. I'm going to bring in pendulums, but they're going to be different, right? So that way we can kind of be more synergetic. Syn Is that the word? Synergetic? Synergy? S George? What? Is that the word? What? Synergy? Synergetic? Are you, Syn 
Are we synergetic? Yeah, I think so. No, like me and I don't want to say his name. Okay. You know, but like working together in in synergy, yeah, right? Synergy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, you guys, my brain is just a mess. This has all happened within a week. Did you announce that we're starting a crowdfunding to please save uh, save, save Sandy's business? <laughs> He's kidding. He's kidding. Money to save no, Sandy's business. He's kidding. Um, he's but in the people. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's it's just not working right now because it's um, I'm not getting the exposure that I need, and um, I'm not focused in what I need to do. So we're gonna do that and pray <laughs> and pray and pray pray. <laughs> You're leaving at nine or yeah. Okay, I'll have your car back. Okay. So um yeah, so that's what's happening with us. Uh oh I should uh I should do a little video um in the shop. I finished a whole bunch of little whales. Um I did some orca whales and beluga whales. They're really cute. I've sold one already. Um I haven't done any more uh, octopi yet I did find a pattern for a crow I'm going to start making that today uh, what else I've got another order coming in what else <laughs> um, yeah so oh, I don't know I mean, I got a comment on my last video um, that one of you had said, your shop looks great, but I'm, I'm surprised that there isn't more crochet. Uh, this is why, right? It's the crochet part of it. I've got my sweaters there, um, but it, the crochet part of it's not going to happen till later. Uh, so, <clears throat> but I do have, I've got, the new the new baby mannequins came, so I've got my baby sweaters on the mannequins now. I seem to be getting a lot of pull on those. Nobody's buying yet, but there's been a lot of, you know, ooing and aahing over them. So I'm going, okay, I'm going to have to make some bigger sizes as well. And, uh, and kind of, you know, push that a little bit when we get to that point. Um, <clears throat> a friend of mine... Just wiped me out of all my cotton. <laughs> she came for a visit. Oh, it was so nice. Um, and now that I've opened my spiritual side again and um, decided, okay, now's the time to start, uh, start with my healing side, my empathic side and all that, things are happening. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness, you know, so it's, it's good. It's good. So anyway, she wiped me out of my cotton. She came, we had a very good talk. She also needed some, some healing and some, um, spiritual help. And so we did that and, uh, she's going to go back home and make me a whole bunch of face cloths. So that I can put them in my shop, right? Uh, do I have them right here? Do I have? Oh no, I don't. I was gonna show you the. Um, oh yeah, you're there. These are the tags that I'm gonna put on my face cloths. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> so. I'm going to wrap my face glass with those. Uh, um, or that face glass, dish glass, dish glass. Um, geez, I told you, my brain, my brain. I'm starting to feel like I don't have time to do anything. I get up, I have my coffee, I get ready, I go to the shop. I do that six days a week. And then I come home for one day. And try and get everything done that I have to get done. But I I just, I crashed. I was just like, I can't. I'm so tired. 
Um, I didn't want to do the dishes. I didn't want to do nothing. And I tell you, our house is a disaster. Our housekeeper broke her foot, severely broke her foot, sp sp the spiral fracture. She had to have surgery. She's off for like at least eight weeks. So, yeah, um, I'm just like, I come into the house and I just go, oh, you know, like it's, it's not, I'm going to have to figure out how to take two days off. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's not like I'm really doing anything at the shop, right? Like I, I sit, I have my computer, I have my crochet. I sit and crochet and watch videos, um, but it's draining sitting there all day. Like, especially when there's no customer. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Especially when there's no customers, you know, it just, it drags. It really drags. Um, I took Bailey with me for two days. Uh, that can be a little stressful. Um, she's really good. But she's constantly getting up and try and she sees people and she wants to like, hi, I'm here, I'm here, you know, and I have to keep holding on to her. And so, because not everybody likes dogs, right? So I have to really keep an eye on that. But, you know, like there's just, there's things I want to do. I'm so used to be able to just get up and have a, a day where, you know, I can come in here, I can do something in here, I can do the dishes, I can clean up the house a little bit, I can, you know, go somewhere, do something. I can't do that anymore. And uh, that's different. And I forgot what it was like to have a full-time job and work so many hours. Um, like, I can't cook dinner because I get home too late. Uh, so I have to start using the crock pot to make sure that dinner's done by the time I get home because I'm too tired to cook. Uh, I've been eating a lot of junk. Um, so yeah, I gotta figure stuff out that way because I, I'm gonna gain weight again. <clears throat> so I'm, once I get the shop moved, I might try and get a little fridge put in that in there so that I can have um have foods in there that I can eat <clears throat> um I really want to go back on carnivore but I can't do it right now because I'm just all over the place uh I can't focus on on what I'm eating I don't have time so but yeah but anyway <laughs> But, 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 and, and, and. <laughs> I feel like that's all I'm saying right now. Uh, anyways, when I get an order in, I'll show, show you what I got. Um, and, and. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys. Uh, so thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you guys soon. I will try to get the videos out. I just, there's really, there's not a lot for me to talk about because all I'm doing is sitting at the shop. Um, but yeah, I just, I'll keep trying, keep trying, you know, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Angela, Angela for my precious, precious yarnery is moving this week, a few days. I'm just like, I can't even believe it. Or is it this week? No, next week. That, around the 4th. I don't even know what day it is, you guys. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm so excited for her. That's a totally new adventure. Uh, I saw her video, her live yesterday, um, the replay. And I was shocked to not see her yarn there. <laughs> it's just like, oh, so this is really happening. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm so excited for her. Ah, it's going to be cool. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go. I love you all. I really do. Thank you for your support. 
and your kind words and um, always being there for me. Uh, I love you bunches and bunches and bunches. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.